gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them choppers. Walking out the tent in blue Balenciagas. I caught her out now. I got blood on blue Balenciagas. What it do, Bear Squad? My name is Bear Witness, and today we're going to be talking about 2K19. And in this video, we're going to be covering a couple of things that were tweeted out today by the 2K19 gameplay director himself, Mike Wang. So, today, we're talking about, first off, the TakeOver badge. Now, the TakeOver badge, I'm going to read for you the tweet, guys, and then I'm going to explain it a little bit more verbatim. So, if you have the ability to use takeover off rip, it's not a badge. It's tied to your archetype. You just won't have the full capabilities of your takeover until you get your badges and ratings up. So, whether you're a 60 overall rookie cookie or you paid to get yourself to as max as you can get with VC, you're straight. You'll automatically have your grand badge, your on fire, whatever you guys want to talk about is there. You're going to have it off rip. Your first part game, you go off, it's going to turn on. But, through all that, it lasts longer if you're a higher archetype. It gets better if you're a higher archetype with more badges. If you're a R60 overall and you just happen to be smacking, you will not have the ability to do that. Like you, you, you will have it, but you won't have it for as long. Now I don't know how long it's going to be at max, and I also don't know how long it's going to be at length. I can say it's probably about 30 seconds to th anywhere between 30 and 20 seconds. From like a rookie standpoint. Now I don't know when your actual like the timing increases. Maybe every 10, 10, 10 overalls, your it, it increases. But I don't know. Now another thing I wanted to talk about today is timing, shot timing. Timing is much tougher, so he says. And if you got a defender nearby, you can expect to see a lot of bricks. But a pure sharp takeover left wide open with good timing is going to hurt a lot of teams. So if you as a pure sharp can get your center to set screens, you can go off the screens, you can get yourself open, all that stuff, you will be smacking. Your takeover badge will activate and you will be absolutely crazy at the park. Like I'm talking about hitting everything out there because when your takeover activates, your attributes go up plus 10. Also, your secondary attributes, if you're not like a full-on like pure build, goes up plus five so that's going to be absolutely nasty those can change though i want you guys to know that because when we first heard about him it was 12 and 6 now it's 10 and 5 it could still change it could go back up it could go down i'm not sure so at the release i'm not sure if it's going to be like that so don't get mad at me guys don't get mad at me. now want to talk about two more things when it comes to playmakers the only time that you'll be able to break ankles is if you have a primary playmaker build. Like, if that is your primary, you'll be able to break ankles. So, if you make a uh, a slashing playmaker, you should make a playmaker slasher if you're trying to break ankles and then dunk. Like, so it's, it's very impacted on what you pick first. So, when you're making builds, guys, I'm telling you. So, you guys can have the most fun playing 2K19. You guys don't feel like you wasted time on your build. Please, please make sure you know what you want to do most and then put that as your primary. So, in this situation, Mike Wang says, players are playmakers are the only players who can put someone on their back. They also get a boost to their shot after breaking someone off their dribble and an extra dimer-like buff to their teammates. So, that's going to be pretty crazy. Now, next up, we got one more thing before I sign off, guys. So, here we go. Glass cleaners. Probably going to be the, one of the better rebounding builds, if not the absolute best. And I'm going to tell you guys why right here. Mike Wang said, Glass Cleaners got a lot of love this year. One of my favorite additions is in TakeOver. They get a target on the floor showing where the ball is going to go on missed shots. That is a absolutely massive rebounding advantage. Because they also get clear, elbow clear outs after offensive boards. So, when you get your offensive board. You will immediately get some uh, a little bit of a knockback, and then you can go back up and dunk that. So glass cleaners are going to be absolutely dominant. Whether you're playing pro am, park, or my career, if you're a big fan of my career, they are going to be insane. So, but the only time you get that takeover badge, once again, anything cool happening for you is only going to happen if you make it your primary. So make sure, like I said, guys, you make it. Your primary if that's what you want to do. But glass cleaners only get to know where the ball is going if they have a glass cleaner primary. So glass cleaner athletic finishers are probably what we're going to see the most. Uh, maybe glass cleaner post scorers. 
because maybe their uh, their clear outs are going to be better. I don't know, but that's all the information I have for you guys today. That's all the information we got today. But thank you guys for so much for watching the video. If you guys like the video, then do something. Like I said, you know, if you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. Just tell me feedback. Because I appreciate that. I make videos off of you guys. So there you go. Also, guys, if you guys are new to, the video, new to the channel, make sure you guys click that sub button. And I will see you guys next time. Peace. We gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them chop. Walking out the tin and blue with